Right, hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in Frightened. A frightening game, frighteningly developed and published by PlayStation Interactive, and is available to you for a lovely small £4.99. Now this is just a walking simulator, there's no enemies, there's no puzzles or anything like that, but it is quite an intense game with a few good jump scares now and again, just to keep your pants moist enough to change. Can't get off without brown pants too easy, you know. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, you can slightly go off and explore, but there's really not a lot to do. I mean, mainly it is quite a linear path. Now, as for achievements, the majority are pretty much straightforward. And I'm not actually sure if there are any missable ones. <laughs> One or the other, you will unlock them. But here's my take on how to unlock them quicklier. Or the quickliest way. And yes, they are a bunch of words. Anyway, you are looking at a nice little cheeky 15 minutes uh, to complete this game, so with that being said then, let us begin. So just go ahead, press new game, and enjoy the cutscene, which kind of reminds you of Five Nights at Freddy's. Although it's just any CCTV ever, I suppose. This job, and I have to take care of this building one last time. The city's eviction procedure is in effect. So, most of the building should be deserted by now anyway. Hope everything goes smooth, and I'll hit the road back home by mid- Hey, wake up. This building depends on you. Take very good care of her. Eh, my god, how cropo already! Extreme creepiness. Right, so when we begin, what you can do is just, uh, you can walk with the left stick, obviously you move the camera with the right stick, press the Y button, you'll have to press the Y button there to basically zoom back out, which will enable you to walk. If you uh, press Y to zoom in, you can't actually walk because you're too busy zooming in at stuff. This guy's not very good at multitasking. Uh, but we're just going to walk up the stairs to begin with. Um, and yes, yeah, sadly, he, <laughs> he walks about as quick as... A 90-year-old pensioner who's just had double hip surgery, so press A then to open the door, walk through, and then head up these sets of steps. Basically, the whole game is um, primarily going from one room, one floor to the next, basically, that's all it is. Uh, but we're going to go up the next set of steps as well, so keep on walking around. And I wonder if anyone's had any bad experiences in room 227, because that's the first one that we're going for, and it is the first door on the right. So, keep walking, and then first door on the right, 227. Now, why anyone would still be a security guard in any setting like this, I don't know. Anyway, the table in front of us has the first note, so press A twice to interact with and grab that. Turn to the left, go towards the TV, and pick up the um, porno from the, uh, the ghost video from the top of the... Um, TV right there, the blackmail, wow, that's nice. So uh, press A twice to get that, and then go to the left of the room and then go through this door. Again, very, very normal in um, one-star hotels like this. Uh, what you need to do then is go towards the back of the bathtub, turn around, take a look at the, the stinkingness that is never been cleaned, turn around, and you should get a little scene where the cupboard door opens, which it just did, there it is, so now we can move on. Uh, there's nothing in there, no, no hidden uh, <laughs> no hidden toys or anything like that. No hidden fun. Eh, well, people are boring, aren't they? So anyway, we're just going to head back out to the corridor. And we're going to get our first achievement, so head slightly to the left. And then turn around. So head slightly to the left, don't go to the exit yet, turn back around. I'm not sure if going to the left and then to the right hell, um, made a difference. I think you can just go to the right here. Uh, but then you're just going to wait until the skid janitor achievement unlocks. There it is. So that is our first one out of ten. Why this fella walking so slow? To be fair, if you had to walk, uh, work in a, a creepy abandoned hellhole place like this, you'd probably be crapping your pants for the majority. Although, why would you stay? Unless the money is blamissimo. Anyway, we're going to head down to the first floor, so the floor below us. And we are going to basically go to the end of the corridor, so all the way to the end of the corridor. You're going to see a little cat in the distance, that's going to get us the Meow Meow achievement. Um, but again, I mean, you know, take your time, like, you know, it's not like we've got things to do, places to be or anything, just, yeah. Or you could have just sat in your little security booth and, you know, not given a crap about anything spooky, but 
Hey, what do I know? I'm not a security guard. I don't know if that's a thing security guards do. Anyway, go to the left right here, and then we're going to take the first door to the left, which is room 134. Black cat in a sinister... Yeah, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty spooky. But, you know, we're all brave adults. We're not scared by anything. Except anyone that looks like Vladimir Putin. Ugh. Right, anyway, uh, we're going to go to the left. We're basically going up towards the TV now. So, go towards the TV, and there's going to be a note um, just to the left on the table by the TV. So, pick this one up again. Press the A button twice. You can bugger off, cat, as well. Make me allergic to you. I'll sneeze all over your face. Please don't poop on me, because isn't cat poop poisonous? Another scientific fact for you. Right, anyway, we're heading back out and all the way back to the corridor. And then after spookiness right here, Ooga Booga. Oh, wait, that was too late for the Ooga Booga. Apparently we can run now, so just keep running to the right all the way down. And there's going to be this cutscene. We're going to end up in the bottom, bottom floor again. How we can run now when we see something spooky when... It's just... No. The whole place is goddamn spooky. Blech. Anyway, we're just going to head back up now. And we're actually going to go to the second floor. So just keep going up all the way up until we get to the second floor. Ooh, scary box. Whoa, please don't make me grab my pants. <laughs> So, now that we are here, we are going to go all the way to the halfway of the corridor and go to room 230. For some reason, there is a little pumpkin jack kind of thing right there. Well, wow, well, howdy, stranger. You're, uh, well, you're about as happy as a bucket full of AIDS, aren't you? So, here is room 230. We're going to nip in. Again, press the A button to go in. And we've got the note directly in front of us on the table. So, go ahead and pick that one up. Uh, tap the A button twice there to pick them both up. Turn to the right and go through the door. And then what you're going to see is a jolly, happy little man straight in front of us. But we're not actually going to bother interacting with him, which is... I mean, you can if you want. But we're just going to get the note um, on the kitchen by the microwave right here. Or the... Oh, it's a prescription. Prescription for drugs. I need pills. And by the way, apparently this next bit is scary. Mate, this is just every meat eater's bit of heaven. This is a bunch of good looking. Well, it's not particularly good looking, but it's a good bit of pig meat. Nothing wrong with a bit of bacon that fresh that early in the morning. Except that's not really fresh. So, anyway, back into the corridor. We're going to the left. There was just a little thing that uh, ran to the right, so you can have a look if you want to, but it's actually nothing. So, I mean, it was something, but I don't want you to crap your brown pants again. No, no, no more. You've already changed them twice. So we're just going to head back down to the first floor anyway. <laughs> And again, you'll be doing the opposite Usain Bolt. You're going all the way to the end of the corridor, turning left, and then going into room 135, which will be straight ahead. Ew. So once we get a 135, open up the door, go through the next door. We're going to unlock two achievements uh, pretty much simultaneously. Uh, grab the note from the table on the left here. There we go. Go through the next door straight in front of us. And then what we're going to do is actually um, unlock another achievement, Toys for Kids. So go immediately to the right and go into the door here. There is a woman, so go towards her and be like, Man, smells like you're cooking rabbit butt again but that's fine so we're going to head out there's going to be a scene change we're going to go to the back of the room this bathroom door is going to open up we're going to go towards the sink we're going to turn around 
And there's going to be a whole bunch of robots having a hell of a party, which, that's not spooky, that's pretty cute. Anyway, watch these robots for a couple of seconds, and then what we're going to do is just walk around the table for another cutscene change. Uh, by the way, there is a little jump scare, so if you want, turn your volume down so you don't poop them again. Oh, see, now was you scared? That's okay. I'll always love you. Right, anyway, what we're going to do now from here, we're going to go back all the way up to the second floor. So, uh, well, you know the drill. Get walking. Pick up a beer on the way. You might as well. It's a long walk. And again, do a opposite of Usain Bolt. We're going to go all the way to the end of the corridor. We're going to go right into room 233. And that clock up there was a good little indication of what you actually need to do, where you need to go. But of course, I'm all the indication that you need, right? Baby boys, baby girls? Oh, yes. So, um, anyway, all the way to the end. Let's go to the right. And as soon as we enter, we're going to get a boo. Ah, uh, just pissing with your mans. Now, we're going to get a another achievement called Funeral Home. So we go immediately to the left and then to the left through this door. There we go. So head in. And there's going to be another note directly in front of us on the bedside table. So we're going to pick that one up. A lot of autopsy reports in these rooms. Doesn't make for great staying. And then just go through the door, uh, basically straight in front of you again. And, uh, interact, wait, well, don't interact with the computer, go towards the computer, turn back around, and there's going to be a little scene change as we go, Bleh! Yeah, it's a spooky child, which, if you're going to be that spooky child, I, I'm automatically allowed to either shoot you or taser you, whichever one you want. Don't be creepy, kids, don't be creepy like that, that's how you get hit in the head. It just, uh, you know, just a general thought, just being nice. Don't be creepy. I suppose adults or kids don't be creepy like that. You don't want to get shot in the head or tasered to death. Right, anyway. Not to death, anyway. So we're going back. Here we are back at the corridor. We're going to go to the left. Anyway, enough about uh, tasering and shooting children and adults for a moment. Uh, just keep on walking down. Again, it's a long old sloggy walk. And all we're doing then is just going down to the first floor, and then we're going to room 132, which will unlock the room 128 achievement as well. But um, as soon as you get to the first floor, uh, look for room 132, which will be on your right-hand snide. Dash she blows, there's 130, uh, and the here they are, Dash actually blows, 132, so there's the achievement, nobody likes a snitch, I'm sure there's some good story related uh, something happening with there, but I don't know, so, go through the door, uh, go straight and interact with the VHS tape here, next to the creepy looking kid, basement, man, who is recording all this, go to the left, and then through the left hand door, you're going to get the Merger's Father achievement here, Go towards the back of the room and then head back out. And then what we're going to do, we're going to try and attempt to go back to the corridor. But we're going to be in kind of like a double loop type situation. So, um, yeah. Enjoy not crapping your pants this time. You, will, you might get stuck there on the wardrobe, but that's all good. So here's the first loop. We're in the same room. We just have to go to the, uh, to the right at the end of the corridor here. 
try to leave the corridor again, and then just do the same thing once more. Without our help. Ah, damn it. Ah, okay. Now I feel bad for saying I, we, uh, if you're that creepy, we should shoot or taser you. You're just trying to help us. Sorry. Fair enough, kid. Fair enough. Life lesson. Don't shoot or taser kids, especially those that are trying to help you. Anyway, out of the room, we're going to the right and left here. <laughs> and this time we're going back into room 134. So, just a couple of minutes away now from the end of the game anyway, which is... Blemissimo. And as we turn the corner, we're going to see the TV. So what we're going to do is just head towards the TV. Now, that you can shoot if you really want to. Uh, that's creepy. And that <laughs> that warrants a bit of a tasering in the boob sack. So, uh, interact with the TV. Turn around, and there's going to be this little cutscene. As we wake up from a nice little slumber, you always need to sleep after so long. We're going to go towards the TV again. To turn around, go towards the TV. Uh, this, this looks like a boring channel, so we'll just, uh, well, we'll turn back around. And then what we can do now is go to the right, and there's going to be a door. Basically, the red room door that we can go in. And for some reason, I said right when I was struggling to go left for whatever particular reason. Sounds like me. So go to the right, right again, and you're going to see this red room. This will get you an, uh, a trophy on the PlayStation. And then just turn around, go back to the TV, and then this is basically the end of the game then, guys and gals. So, so there is a to be continued, which will be entertaining. So, uh, well, let's wait and see till the next Fright Nance and Nance and Nance, is it? So, there we go then, guys and gals. Nice, easy 15-minute achievement guide there for you. Another thousand and platinum in your butts. Uh, in your pocket, I mean. So, thank you so, so much for watching. Hope hope you enjoyed the, gui uh, the game. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Um, and don't forget to check me out on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon, as usual. A big shout-out to everyone on Patreon who continues to support the channel. You guys and gals are legendary. And that'll be that then, guys. So, I'll see you in the next one. Big love.